Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is where I talk about music production, the gear I use to create my tracks, and other general nerdy stuff. Today I am in my living room. I am working on my laptop. I have a few projects uh, I made a few years earlier using Ableton Live on my Mac. And I wanted to show you how Ableton Live 10 performs on the M1 MacBook Pro with a re real project I am working on now. I know I have made a video about it before, but I also know that people are interested in this and uh, I just thought I could record my process and show you plugins and everything. So here is the M1 MacBook Pro with Ableton Live 10. Uh, it's a 13 inch 2020 model using the M1 CPU. 16 gigabytes of memory and I think I have one terabyte hard drive. Ableton Live is running at version 10.1.40 and it's running in Intel mode. So that means it's not optimized for this CPU. I can talk a little bit about that later on, but I can just play it back a little bit and you can listen how it sounds. And I can show you the settings here. I'm using 44 kilohertz, uh, 248 samples, and of course, core audio, the built-in audio card. And let's just play. So yeah, this track is playing in real time now, but it's playing in uh, Intel mode. So that means that uh, Ableton Live here is not optimized for this particular CPU. And I think that's even more impressive that how good this works. Because I remember I had the 16 inch MacBook Pro and a pro project like this with maybe a few more tra tracks could actually make the 16 inch MacBook Pro crackle. And now we're talking on using this system with uh, emulated, or it's not emulated, it's translated uh, translated mode, and it works without issues. Well, I can show you what kind of plugins I use. And again, this is an old project, so it may uh, I may have some older plugins, but it's Serum here, as you can see here, and it's on... 2x quality so that's one track and then i have another track here using serum and you can also notice there that i have unison 8 on both oscillators as well so that will also take up some cpu and i even have 4x on uh, this particular track nothing is frozen everything is playing in real time I, of course i also have some effects Afterwards, EQ here only. But there I have uh, Saturn 2. Saturn 2 is a saturator from FabFilter. It works really well. It's on high quality. And again, delay and uh, EQ uh, built in from Ableton Live. And then we have some other tracks here with bass, where I'm also using uh, Saturn. Let's see here. Serum, uh, some uh, saturation from Ableton Live. Saturn 2, compressor compressor again, EQing. I have basically effects on each and every track here and I think I have maybe five or six uh, Serum tracks and maybe four or five Spire tracks. You can see here it's an uh, old uh, version of the plugin. So this track is pretty old actually. We can see that I use also some saturation on the master chain, some glue compression, 
some fab filter plugins here and uh, yeah <laughs> So this is how it performs. As you can see here on the CPU meter here, this is the CPU draw of the entire system. And up here, the CPU meter you see there is the audio buffer. So it's not really a CPU meter. It's kind of a CPU meter. So you can see that the audio buffer uh, load is higher than the actual CPU load on this particular machine. I know that Ableton Live 11 has been released and I guess it's it has uh, maybe M1 support. I'm not sure. I haven't uh, upgraded to it yet. I don't really use my Mac for music production. I often use my desktop PC downstairs, but sometimes I have some old projects I just have to try to finish up here because I loaded, I loaded them with audio units and it's just a hassle to transform them to VST and uh, yeah edit them on my PC below. So that was just a quick video showing you a project I am working on. I am working on, uh, as I said earlier, transforming my music catalog for stock sites. And uh, this track, particular track was on uh, a made on a Apple computer. And uh, even though Ableton Live 10 is running in translated mode, it's not running in native mode at all. It is uh, performing good at least with this project and as you can see there I have four or five Serum plugins, I have four or five Spire plugins, I also have effects and um, yeah it works just fine. So if you are going to use a M1 MacBook Pro for or a MacBook Air for music production, if you have a audio interface, if you have a guitar, if you just record your singing and you just want to add some effects and uh, maybe a synth or two, you can get a, a long way with using just an M1 MacBook Air. I, yeah, it's a nice machine and uh, I just wanted to show you how it works. So take care out there. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.